All right, I'm pretty excited about this one. We are gonna unbox, unpack, and do our first ever burn of this, which is a cubic mini wood burning stove. The plan is to install this on our boat. Uh, for those of you who are new here, that is a 40 year old, 38 foot sailing boat. And we're gonna install this, so hopefully we can enjoy beautiful remote locations in those colder months. Uh, for those of you that have been here a while, this isn't a full video, this is a precursor video. And yeah, you, you've probably guessed it for a, the installation video of this in full on the boat. So if that sounds like something that's gonna interest you, again, if you're new here, hit the subscribe button, hit the notifications bell, and then sometime the next week, that video should be up and you can see this in all its glory, hopefully. So inside here we've got, I believe, the legs. We're actually at work, we're actually in the container right now, not on the boat, and the reason being is because, well, you need to burn it outside and get rid of a load of non-toxic by all accounts, but it should be quite a smoky process to get rid of all the chemicals that have been used to make this. Uh, and the marina that we're currently keeping Kadur in, I'm not big on, on smoke bellowing out. We can use the wood burner when we're there, but we need to use smokeless fuel. Uh, so we thought we'd do this here, we've got good light, it's the middle of the night, uh, and then we can burn this, see how we go, and then when it's all cured, the next video, we'll do the installation. So you've got a couple of options with this stove, uh, with the secondary burn to allow additional air and to help try and control and regulate the heat. Uh, so we're told that this ranges from about 2.3 kilowatts right up to 5.2 kilowatts on full burn. Um, just having a look inside the stove here, I don't know if you can see, You've got all these, all these grates along here, just along the top there, which allow that secondary burn to really get going. Alright, all right, so we've got these little legs here. And they just screw on like that. Okay, got a couple of flue pipes here as well, which I think we may as well just burn them as well. So the Cubic Company have two options. They've got the Cub and the Grizzly. This is the Grizzly, which is the bigger of the two. I believe this is about 40% bigger. But the reason we like this one as well is because as well as heating the boat, hopefully we could just pop a little coffee pot here, a little percolator, maybe even a little stove for beans or something. We can cook and make coffee on it too, which is gonna be a double whammy, especially in the winter, especially when fuel costs are this high. It's like a sign of winter nights to come. <laughs> yeah, except we'll be in the comfort of the boat, not outside. <laughs> Gotta start somewhere. Cheers. There you go. You see the fire? Oh. You gotta get used to this, mate. This is gonna be a whole new sensation yeah. for you. <laughs> hey? She's burning nicely now. We've just put a big brick on there. We're gonna let that burn down. And that should be the end of the cure. Just wanted to do an unboxing with you guys, have a little look at it, let you know what we've got, do the first burn. And then if you're interested to see how we get on putting this into the boat, well, if you're new here, hit the subscribe button. If you're not, we'll see you in the next video. Bye for now. And if you haven't done so already, be sure to check out one of these two videos for more Kadora adventures.